Hello there, my name is Eladrium, and welcome back to Bedrock. And today, in this episode, well, it's time to take down our Christmas decorations. Yep, here we are. It is the uh, middle of January. Um, I think I think that's about time for you to take down your Christmas decorations. It's, it's been up long enough. So, uh, we're going to take this tree down. It's been nice having it, but uh, the quickest way I know to get rid of this is... Um, ooh, yep, just do that. Ah, <sighs> well... At least we get a light show with it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to burn. I need to get my armor back on. Okay. Whew. There we go. Ah, yep. There we go. It was nice having this Christmas tree up for change, but um, time to move on to the next holiday. Oh, this is maybe getting a little bit out of control. Don't do this in your house, kids. This is really dangerous. So at the end of our last couple of episodes, we built ourselves this absolutely gorgeous and beautiful little cottage here this is what my christmas gift was to myself but unfortunately santa didn't come and decorate it for me so um i think we're gonna have to end up doing that ourselves i've got some stuff up here you know a couple little cozy little cottage beds kind of some bland walls with some decorative paneling and this mm, nylon roof you're sleeping on this nylon roof if you aren't using your bills 10 out of 10 should check it out but um Yep, since Santa didn't give us the gift we wanted, we are going to need to build this up ourselves. So if we come down here, just take a look, give ourselves a little spin and bam, here we go. So what do you guys think here? We have lots and lots of decorations here. Kind of got like a little small kitchenette here, a nice little sitting area in front of the nice cozy fire, kind of a, a lounge chaise area where you can sit down. Maybe if I had any friends, they'd sit here with me and talk. Nice little little coffee area here, some bookshelves. And um, yeah, I don't really think I've changed anything in here. We added a couple trees and these azalea trees. We need more trees like azalea trees here because they just, they look so great. We need more trees that are like them that make those potted plants look so good. Anyway, we have this place all decorated now. And I think with the interior now fully decorated, I think we kind of really hit the mark on this. This is just a super cozy little place now. It has everything that we need. And, mm. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop talking about the, the blue nylon wood. It's just so great. I really, really love it. So what else do we have here on our docket today? Well, we've got a couple more things that we need to take care of. And the other major thing that we need to take care of is this building right here. I have kind of super mostly neglected this almost in its entirety. We have this cellar area over here and then this three-story building i just I, I didn't know what to put in here i have been racking my brain about what i want this to look like moved all my shulker boxes in here and just been been needing to give it a lot of thought so i'm definitely thinking i want to have at least three stories want to mix it up just a little bit though i'm just not sure how i want to mix that up a lot of options a lot of ideas I'm just not entirely sure yet. So by the end of this episode, I will have the interior of this decorated. But for the time being, we're going to take care of a couple of other things and hope that while I'm thinking more about this, I can get some inspiration from the other builds that we're going to do. But we have another super duper important build that we need to take care of. And that's a mushroom farm because we need ourselves some mushrooms for a lot of different purposes, including some suspicious stew. But before we can make that mushroom farm, we're gonna need to head over here to where our iron farm is. And we're not getting something from our iron farm. We're getting another super duper important thing right here. Ow. Man, that's taking a lot of damage. Uh, we, we need some of this puzzle and um, more llamas. There's so many llamas in this world. Why do llamas keep spawning all the time? I wish I could turn down the spawn rate of the llamas because they cause so much lag and they do not despawn. Oh, it's crazy. Anyway, we need some Podzel because Podzel has a super duper unique property that it will allow mushrooms to grow on it in any light level. And that is a key ingredient from our farm. So we're gonna go ahead and take this Podzel, take it down into our path area and oh, we're gonna get rid of the rest of these llamas. Okay, okay. I'm cool, I'm calm, I'm collected. We're gonna go down into our path area and we are going to start building this mushroom farm. So our mushroom farm, very simple design. Podzel, mushroom, we have a dispenser right here and then uh, just build up a super duper simple little clock right behind this. Uh, let's 
go ahead and knock that block out and um yeah so torch oh well this is happening again i added a resource pack that gave some more dynamic lighting and i thought i disabled it one of the side effects of it is that these redstone torches also give out dynamic light now and i can't seem to place them on the sides of blocks unless i am unless there's a basically an empty space beneath the block so like i couldn't place it there but now i can it's it's a little bit funky and i need to kind of figure out what it is but mushroom farm uh we just build our basic clock here um go ahead and slap that down go ahead and pop a lever here on the back if i have a lever with a piece of redstone dust and then kind of just block out the rest of this so that nothing grows very simple really not a lot to it not a super duper complex farm in the slightest um just need to get some bone meal in here make sure that i have the height right on this so that that grows up and um then we can basically start harvesting some mushrooms super duper easy to do and a complete quick reset of the farm later because i was one block too short uh we can go ahead and now drop a mushroom down there have that bone meal and bam there we go look at that mushroom is super easy to do we can just take an axe to it uh if we just have a regular axe all those mushrooms will fall down and if we put some water streams underneath here that can just be flushed out in here i was thinking about using hoppers i placed on some hoppers but i think what i might actually want to do is just have this shoot down into the exist i think actually having it shoot down to the water stream might be a little bit easier because then i don't have to use these hoppers at all and it can just kind of go into our storage system so um i'm kind of just super guessing here but i think it's just one two three four i think it's maybe four I'll blow it out here uh yep you need to go down one more i think maybe this will be okay anyway one of the things i was really kind of inspired by with mushrooms uh specifically with the red mushrooms is that they have that kind of super duper unique texture and it's a very unique basically shade of red um and I, I really like it and i was thinking about making a build that could potentially utilize that mushroom tile as maybe part of a roof or something like that there's there's not a lot of textures in this game i mean there are a lot of textures but some of them are more unique than others and these mushrooms right here especially these red ones kind of very super duper unique especially if you can orient the block in the right position i don't super like building with materials that aren't buildable materials for instance i don't really like stacking you know something like wool under a block of stone because in my mind that doesn't super duper make sense it's not a supporting structure but I, i'm trying to expand out of my comfort zone just a little bit and get to the point where we can maybe do some more interesting things and have less limitations on myself so look at that we now have this thing working as well to working as well too it's working great i think we were just one block short earlier um but one of the things that we are definitely going to need for this farm is probably two different sets of axe we're going to need a axe that has silk touch on it um so that we can get those raw blocks down and then we're probably also going to need a fortune three axe and fortunately for us i know just the kind masons and stone workers and armors and smiths down in one of our trading halls that uh, we can get that from but quick check here we should have all of our items flowing down into our storage system and actually i'm actually kind of worried let's see uh maybe we didn't pass enough down but this will all flow into our main storage system here where we have everything from the path going and then we can filter that out so let's go ahead and pop over to where our armors are and make ourselves those super duper custom axes I was talking about earlier. So I'm gonna come down here. I think we still have some iron left over in this kind of bulk overflow iron storage system. Don't need a lot. Um, just need to find a guy who has an ax for us. Uh, probably need to get some emeralds. Oh yeah, yeah, you've got them. So we'll just get one from you and get a, another one. And my, while we're here, we might as well trade over for all of our emeralds. Definitely going to want some more emeralds and we are going to need to remove the default enchantments off of these axes, but um, never pass up an opportunity to repair your tools, especially when you're not near your experience farm. These guys don't do a lot, but you know, there's a good opportunity with a lot of things here to get some basic tools repaired. So go ahead and pack this 
leftover iron up real quick if I can find it here. And yeah, as usual, there's nothing good on here. So let's go ahead and strip these down to their bare essentials and hold on, hold on, wait a second. Where's my creeper? Where did my creeper go? I had a name tag creeper that took me like an hour to get down in here. Where did he go? Name tag things in bedrock shouldn't despawn. Oh, and he didn't blow up because if he blew up, you know, this whole area would be a mess. Shucks. That's a shame here. Our cat's still here, but our creeper's gone. I think that's one of the more annoying bugs that I don't like in Bedrock Edition, especially when you have more entities lying around. Name tagged things seem to still despawn if they get hit on the edge of a chunk border or something like that. And I really wish that this could be fixed. And I hear a zombie around here somewhere too. Oh, and a storage system I didn't use, but I would really super duper appreciate it if this one bug could be fixed because I have had mobs despawn. I have had villagers despawn with enchantments. It's just, it's completely random whether something despawns or not. And trying to set up the right conditions to make things to basically ensure that they don't despawn is super duper hard, especially if you're dealing with chunk aligning things. I'm pretty sure that the despawn happens because that creeper was probably on a chunk border and there's probably a chunk border in that room when um, I flew out of range. But man, I just I really wish that would be fixed because it shouldn't be the player's responsibility to make sure that all their bases are chunk aligned so that things don't disappear. I mean, the game should handle that for you. Anyway, we're going to come over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some unbreaking on our items here. Oh, I'm going to need a book. Oh, please tell me that I have a shulker box with books in it. Please tell me what are the odds of it being in this shulker box? Uh, oh, yeah, there are books. Wow. See, this is why I always carry some extra books around. So we're going to get unbreaking. We are going to get mending. We're going to get efficiency. Um, not that it will super duper matter after like efficiency three, but you know, we'll just put efficiency five on it too. And we'll also get silk touch for one of them and fortune silk touch so that we can get the raw mushroom blocks and all the pretty sort of decorative things that we want. And then fortune so that we can get the mushrooms themselves, which we can use for suspicious stew, auspicious stew. Um, and a couple of other things if we just want to eat them or make, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called now, make the crafting ingredient that we can use because uh, I imagine we're going to need a bunch of those. So we'll go ahead and slap these enchantments on real quick, try to make them as inexpensive as possible, but grand scheme, it really won't matter um, just because we're going to have mending on it. But we'll go ahead and get those on and then we will do another quick test of the farm. And while we're here, we probably need to put in a place for us to store these axes. Um, I don't really want to be carrying around my inventory, but let's go ahead and pop these blocks back in. We can store our fortune axe and then also our silk touch axe. We'll keep, maybe we'll keep that one. Uh, and then we probably need to actually store some mushrooms over here as well so that we can not fall into the water so that we don't have to run all the way to our storage system. So let's go ahead and get those real quick. And a quick sort of our sorting system later. I'll I'll probably need to fix this. Yeah, we'll just put like a trap door down here. We'll fix this. But uh, yeah, this farm seems to be working super duper nicely now. Super duper happy with it. Very simple to build. And take a look at this block texture. This is what I was talking about earlier with these kind of unique block textures. It's almost like a dice. Almost. And I think there's a lot of interesting possibilities that we can do with that. Maybe a, a cute little roof. But for now, we're just going to throw this down into our storage system, throw our spare axes and now our spare mushrooms in here. And it's time for us to switch over to the build that I have been dreading for the last month and a half, the interior of that other base that we built. Yep, gonna commit to it. All right, so as promised, um, the inside of this is now done. We now have another interior of our base done. It's really, really important to me that the interiors of our bases all be done and the backs be done, but like the interiors too, because it's so easy just to ignore the interiors. Um. I know this doesn't look done, but this is, it's very intentional that I have that part empty. Have some decorations up here, but we come in here. Ah, ta-da, look at this, yes. Uh, have ourselves a little master suite here, and I hear some phantoms buzzing around, so we're gonna take a quick nap real quick. And um, yeah, 
Nice little small bedroom right here. Got some paintings up. Um, we'll maybe, we'll, I'll show you around the rest of the place. So up here, nifty little storage area. Lots of options up here. Got some carts. I'm not sure about these because they're entities and entities cause lag problems and they're probably gonna despawn without a track. But um, yep, have a nice little storage area above our bedroom. And I've, I've never seen this before. I don't know what this is. It, paintings in Minecraft are confusing using to say the least so i'm just going to ignore that for the time being because it's kind of scary uh to the right here have ourselves some storage area obviously our other door right there that leads straight through this nice little balcony that we have that allows us to look our beautiful little cottage another building that we have here um all of our chests from our village that we deconstructed that i probably need to move at some point but let's go upstairs real quick done some things up here check a look at this have some paintings, have a sitting area. I try to align these fireplaces with the chimneys on the top. I'm pretty sure they're not aligned, but you know, suspend your disbelief maybe for just a little bit. Uh, but I think this turned out really, really nice. We have ourselves, you know, some books and some other things. Uh, this tower now spins all the way down. So if you don't want to take the stairs uh, and, you know, zigzag from over there to over there, you can go straight down the middle of the tower. Super duper quick and easy way to get where we need to go. And I think, you know, kind of overall, this turned out pretty nice. I'm not completely sold on the front door here, but we have another storage area here. Um, kind of some some barrels of some, you know, some sizers, some cider, some something to drink. We, we got fruit juice in here. Um, and then we will come around down here. Still need to decide what I want to do with this area. So if you have any ideas, you know, leave them down in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas. So I'll we'll leave that empty for now. Also this area right here against that wall. Um, it, we, need, we need some more color to help it pop. But down here, I'm like, I'm torn on this. The, I love the floor pattern. I think the floor is super duper exciting. Uh, obviously our middle staircase here but for the most part it's kind of bare and i really want to fill it in with a few things i tried starting put to put in a set of bookshelves over here maybe like a library that you could sit in and do some studying in um and you know i, I think for the most part and then i was thinking about putting in maybe a, a lower level or an entrance to a mine or or something that will potentially connect to where i have this beacon that has these particles getting in my face but for the most part this is pretty bare down here and that's kind of intentional, kind of not. I'm just, I'm not sure what I want to do quite yet. And I think I maybe need to build out that bore tunnel real quick before I start doing anything. But trying something new with some pillars, like this floor pattern here, super duper nice and interesting. Trying to break it up visually with some different things and, and have some interesting truss beams here. You know, putting in stone with the, the cobblestone and the, the stone bricks. Lots of different things I'm trying to experiment with. So if you like it, let me know. Uh, again, more storage here. Extra large storage of, you know, whatever drink we're selling. Uh, maybe this is a place for the innkeeper to store his, you know, his extra parts. Or if this is a, a waypoint or checkpoint into our little village area, maybe we got something there. Need to think if I can burrow through that wall and still need to do the floor. But I think for the most part, I am pretty happy with how this turned out. I, I really love how this turned out, if I'm completely honest with you. This has turned out great, considering we had nothing but a grass floor and then open sky all the way up to the ceiling. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Super duper pleased with how it turned out. Can't really ask for a whole lot more here. Um, it's time for us to start expanding outwards, though. We have all of this space that I have built out right here, but I think it's time for us to really start expanding into this village that I took down. So I think over the next couple of episodes, we are going to start targeting this area over here where this village used to be and uh, really starting to build out a village. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any ideas for what you want me to build either in this main village area, um, any type of themes that you may think look good. I was thinking maybe about doing maybe some medieval steampunk type things, kind of expanding our progression of technology that we have here, trying to push ourselves into some more uncomfortable territory and do some more interesting builds other than the type of style that we've been doing. But if you have any ideas or, or things that you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you have any feedback on anything I built, I'd also love to hear that. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I super duper appreciate you being on here with this journey with me. As always, remember, you are always welcome on Bedrock. And I will see you in the next episode.
Goodbye.